hope this message finds you well and in good spirits. It's a pleasure to connect with all of you, no matter where you are in the world. Today, let's take a moment to appreciate the beauty of diversity and the power of technology that allows us to come together from different corners of the globe. So sit back, relax, and let's embark on this journey together. We all share a common eagerness to reach our ultimate destination. In our youth, during family travels, we often pose the family question to our parents. Are we there yet? This innate curiosity reflects our awareness of being en route to a specific endpoint, whether a beach or a holiday retreat, while still yearning to ascertain our proximity to that destination. This sentiment mirrors our journey towards a spiritual destination, towards the light or source. Just as a seed grows into a tree symbolizing life in spiritual realms, we nurture and tend to this growth like tending to the soil. Similarly, it is imperative to cultivate a strong foundation akin to nurturing soil that remains unshakable once solidified. This foundation, reflecting our essence, comprising both physical and spiritual elements, embodies the core of our being, our form and formless, body and soul. In Viking history, the tree embodies destiny, encapsulating the collective wisdom of the past. Exploring the Viking history reveals a profound interconnectedness with these themes. This discussion on foundation in episode 4 is not merely coincidental, but deeply intertwined with these narratives. The number 4 symbolizing foundation resonates in various contexts such as the Emperor card in Tarot, representing the foundation of humanity. Furthermore, in tarot symbolism, the four elements, earth, water, air, and fire, correspond to pentacles, cups, swords, and wands, respectively. These elemental associations are elucidated in the ancient Tamil literature called Aindiram by the revered sage Mamuni Mayan signifying the five elements. Within the Grand Angkor Wat complex in Cambodia, at the East Mebon Temple, I am immersed in a profound cultural and spiritual journey. The temple boasts five impressive gopurams, known as temple towers, embodying the concept of Aindiram, as beautifully described by Mamuni Mayan. Harmonizing the five elements represented in this temple allows us to command mastery over the universe itself. The intricate details and symbolic depth of the East Mebon Temple prompt us to ponder the interconnectedness of all things and the power found in achieving equilibrium. The Nikpon Temple in Cambodia is a structure steeped in history and healing traditions. Its design integrates the symbolism of the four directions, water, earth, fire and wind, tied to a central tank symbolizing space or ether, showcasing a profound bond with nature's elements. Each direction is symbolized by animals, the elephant, bull with a human head, horse and lion, enriching the temple's symbolic significance. The architectural and healing principles of the temple seem to resonate with the Aindiram concept, emphasizing the five elements as chronicled by Mamuni Mayan in Tamil underscoring a profound influence on the temple's construction and healing rituals. Drawing parallels between these elements and their depiction in the Rider-Waite tarot card, 
notably in the world, highlights the enduring relevance of these ideas across different cultures and eras. The temple's emphasis on holistic healing and alignment with natural forces serves as a timeless testament to universal wisdom and principles that continue to fascinate and motivate us today. When these four elements align within us, we achieve inner harmony and peace. As I've mentioned in previous episodes, maintaining a journal, meditating, and reflecting are essential practices. Thank you for joining me, and I hope this resonated with you. Looking forward to seeing you in the upcoming episode.